Hey guys, um, this is video game guys, episode 3, I know I'm making a lot of these things, but I think it's pretty good and pretty successfully, I'm getting subscribers, and I think a lot of people like my videos, so why not? This is episode, um, 3 of Video Game Rise, and, um, today we're talking about Call of Duty series. So let's start with the first Call of Duty. So the first Call of Duty was created by Infinity, I think it was Infinity Ward, or was it Treyarch? I don't know. And, um, no, I think it was Treyarch. Yeah. And, um, they created it, they created a second World War shooter, and it was pretty awesome, you know. It was a it was a um, it was a great shooting experience because it it, it 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 was at the beginning of the PS2 franchise. It was released in 2001 or 2002, and it was a pretty cool cool game. I also played it, and I had fun with it. And also, and um, this time, some um, gamers are playing it on the PC online or something, and it was a pretty cool game. They created a very good Second World War shooter, and yeah, after that, they created an add-on, I think, it was the Finest Hour. So what was changed about the Finest Hour, Call of Duty Finest Hour, I don't know, maybe you can, it was the Finest Hour, you know. But I think, I don't really can tell you something about it, it was not really changed, it was Call of Duty 1, and it was just an undertitle Finest Hour. I think it was an undertitle, just they put it Finest Hour on it and they thought Call of Duty 1 was successfully, so why don't we make another Call of Duty 1 but with another title? So it wasn't really changed, you got new scenarios and stuff, but nothing really changed. So then came Call of Duty 2 and this, I think this was created by Infinity Ward. And uh, Call of Duty 2 was pretty good. I think it had ba it had uh, had had worse graphics than it has. You know, the graphics of Call of Duty 1 were better than Call of Duty 2. I think. You know, I mean, look at that. This is just okay, not very good. But for this time, it was cool. And Call of Duty 2, same graphics. I think a bit worse, but okay. So it was also in the Second World War, and it was not even better, um, not even better, or but not even worse. I think just the graphics were a bit, a bit, a bit worse. I think. Then came an add-on also, and it was Big Red One. So I think I don't care if we really have to tell you something about it, like the Finest Hour, just an untitled. I think it was an untitled. Just correct me if I'm wrong, because. I played them, but I couldn't couldn't really find a difference between these a, a difference between between these these two shooters. Then came Call of Duty 3, and the graphics of Call of Duty 3 were pretty nice. And this were the time where the um, where the Call of Duty franchise um, uh, went into next gen. It was also released on the PS2, I played it on the PS2, and it was on, released on 360 and on the PS3, I think, yeah. And it was a pretty nice game, you know, the graphics would change, the gameplay changed a bit, of course. And everything was pretty nice, but Call of Duty 3, yeah, I liked it. But I started to hate the series, because it was, wait, for five Call of Duty games, and every single one was in the Second World War, and this is pissing me off. And after that, again, Infinity War created Call of Duty War Modern Warfare, and this was an awesome game, the best until now in the Call of Duty series. And, um, yeah, it was, it was just awesome. Maybe I can... It was an awesome game because, you know, you were in the uh, in the modern, not again in the Second World War. So this is a pick of the newest Call of Duty, but I'm talking about Call of Duty 4, and it was modern warfare, and it was in the now time. You know, it was an awesome great game, a great great game with an 
awesome story. And I played it over ten times. I, I completed it over ten times on Veteran. That's why my name is called called, called Farmer Zero Eight. Because I like this game and I no I don't like it. I love it. Great game. But now we get this again and I'm fucking pissed because Treyarch is creating the newest Call of Duty. You know it plays in the Pacific, but I'm pissed because it's Second World War again and I have enough of the Second World War. Just if you agree with me, put a comment on my video because I'm just fucking. Ha I just fucking have enough of the Second World War. I want something new. World War, World at War is not, not in my. You know, is 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 not something that I will buy. I think I will I will rent it, but I don't buy it because of the Second World War again. And maybe it's good. I don't think it's good. My preview score for it was 8.0. I made a preview a w long time ago. And, um, yeah, gay. I want it. I really, really don't want to have this game. But also, Infinity War is creating another shooter. I don't know the title, but it's in the future. It's in the future. And, and, and future shooter. But I don't think it will come out before 2010. But it will be a great game if it's in the future. So that was my um, that was episode three of Video Game Rise Call of Duty. Hope you enjoyed it. And my GDA series will be up in a few minutes or tomorrow. I don't know. It's called Nico Liberty. And hope you guys all watch episode one. So see you then.